Well, good afternoon, True Girls and Moms. I'm Stacy coming to you from Michigan. Hey guys, I'm Abby. I am in Virginia Beach. And I'm Casey, a student at Cedarville University coming at you from Ohio. And you guys have tuned in for the most exciting way to spend a Monday or Tuesday or a Wednesday, Thursday or Friday too because we are going live on our True Girl YouTube channel every weekday at noon with our True Girl electives. So those are totally free, totally fun. And if you're gonna be joining us, make sure you subscribe to our YouTube channel so that you do not miss any notifications for when we're going live. It's gonna be so much fun. But Casey, tell them what we're talking about today. Oh, I would love to do that, Stacy. What if I told you that today we're going to teach you a superpower. <laughs> yes, you're going to learn on your very own your brand new superpower right here, right now. So this superpower is called, let's, um, do you guys know the Batman theme song? No, I don't. Okay, I think it goes. Dun, 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 <laughs> <laughs> music! <laughs> yes, music is the superpower of today. And why do I call it a superpower? Well, because when you know music, it actually makes you way better at a lot of things. Do you know that people who study music are better at learning languages, better at memorization, better at taking tests at school, and better at just chilling out? <laughs> I need that. <laughs> yeah. Yep, it makes your brain way smarter, makes you less stressed out and my makes you way more fun <laughs> so with all those skills you're basically a superhero in just a few minutes we're gonna spend some time studying music so we can become all together musical superheroes <laughs> cool cool that sounds like fun um but you guys when we go live you got to remember we can't see you you can see us but we can't see you but we want to see you right guys don't we want to yeah. see your faces Yes. So remember to take a picture of yourself participating in our True Girl Live electives. And each day we're going to choose one to kind of greet everybody. And it'll kind of look like this. Check this out. Aww. Yes. So make sure that you have your mom take a picture of you hanging out with us and then have her post it on Facebook or Instagram. But make sure she tags us so that we know it's you and that we can use it <laughs> and say hey to you guys. So we want to see your faces. Do not forget to do that. Yes, and now it is time for freedom stories. A verse that we love at True Girl is John 8, 31 and 32 that says, if you abide in my word, you are truly my disciples and you will know the truth and the truth will set you free. Good verse, right? Right now, we are facing a kind of difficult time in our world. Anytime we look at the TV or we open our laptops or we look at our iPods or phones, we are looking at scary news. But when we open our Bibles, we find good news. So we need to keep opening our Bibles to find God's truth. One verse that really helped me the past couple of days is in Psalm 61, verses 2 and 3. I'm gonna make sure it's the same version. I'll just read from here. From the end of the earth, I call to you when my heart is faint. Lead me to the rock that is higher than I, for you have been my refuge, a strong tower against the enemy. Isn't that a good verse? I think that it is so powerful to just, yes. um, to look to Christ to be our strength um, because any anything else will fail. So I think that it's really important to just focus on God during these hard times. So that is my freedom verse. And now I'm going to read you a freedom story from Hayden Pierce. She says, the first week we were quarantined, I was at my grandparents' house, but my dad stayed home to work four hours away and I was scared. My mom was teaching me how to find verses in the Bible. And I memorized the verse, your door, wait, your word is a lamp unto my feet and a light unto my path. Psalms 119 verse 105. It was raining a lot, and when we would open the back door, water would come in, and then I saw a cross on the floor. The water dripped in off the door and formed a perfect cross, so I knew then that I was protected. Are you oh, kidding me? That's so beautiful that's when so the Lord cool. uses signs to show you that he's with you. That's, that's awesome. Cool. That was a really, really beautiful freedom story. Thank you so much, Hayden. So girls, I bet now you're wondering how you can share your freedom story. 
And the first thing is to start reading your Bible. When everything is crazy right now, we need to be focusing on God's word and what he says is true. After that, you want to identify verses that make you feel safe and hopeful and joyful and peaceful and confident that God is in control, even in the middle of this crazy time. And then, are you ready for this? You just leave us a comment in the comment section on YouTube or Facebook, and we'll check them and read them tomorrow. And if your mom or any of your family members say that you shouldn't post on the YouTube or Facebook pages, that's no problem. Just go to mytruegirl.com slash live, and you can enter it in the feature there, and it will be completely protected. And at the end of our class today, we will be praying. If you have a prayer request, write it in the comments and we will be praying for you. We have really loved praying for you over these past couple days. Hey guys, it's time for music class. I'm so excited, but before we dive in, I wanna tell you something really cool that I started thinking about when I was probably around your age. Have you ever wondered why musical instruments are very different but can sometimes sound the same? Let me explain. Like if I play one note on the guitar, it sounds very similar on the piano. It's really crazy how God made all these instruments to sound very different but also exactly the same, exactly on the same tone and pitch. So let me show you guys a little something over here. All right, so now I wanna show you guys just exactly how this music magic works. Actually, I'm sitting at a piano right now, so let me just show you what I'm looking at. You'll notice on the piano that we have two groups of black keys and then a group of three black keys. And it goes that way as a pattern throughout the entire keyboard. So there's two, three, two, three, two, three, and so on, all the way to the tippy top. So if you look at the first note on the outside of the group of two black keys, there's the C. This is like the starting point for a lot of people. A lot of people like to just start with C because it's just very neutral. Um, but if you look all the way up here, counting only our white keys, we have seven letters until we go back to C. So it goes C, D, E, F, G, A, B, and then back to C. And we could keep going C, D, E, F, G, but we're not gonna go all the way up there because it would take a while. So if I wanted to play a chord on the piano, I would take the C, the E, and the G. You hear that? A chord is a group of three or more notes sounded together as a basis of a harmony. And a harmony is a combination of notes that have a pleasing effect. So let's say I wanted to play a C on piano. Did you know that I can also play a C on other instruments? Let me show you. All right, so if I play the C on the piano, and then I play the C on my guitar, Do you hear how that's the same thing? Let's say I wanted to play a D. Isn't that so cool? The cool thing about music is you can play whatever you wanna play. It'll just sound a little different on different instruments. So something I wanna teach you as for really cool vocabulary words today, we have tone and pitch. I mentioned that at the beginning of the video. Tone is what you hear in a sound and pitch is a sound you can play. The difference between tone and pitch is pitch can be perfect, tone cannot. Not only can I do it on the guitar, but I can also do it on a little baby guitar. I wonder, does anyone know what this is? This is called a ukulele. It's like a four stringed baby guitar. Guitars have six strings. So let's say I wanted to play a G on the ukulele and then I could play it on the piano. Wow, isn't that so cool? Wow, thank you guys so much for sitting in with me on this lesson, I really enjoyed it. And just to go over, if you guys wanna practice this at home, it's really easy. Just remember C starts on the outside of your black keys. So right here. And if you want to play a chord, you go one, skip a finger, two, skip a finger three. That is a C chord. 
something that's even cooler. I can use all the chords I just played for you, C, D, and G, to sing you this. enjoyed this lesson today. Keep practicing those notes and I'll see you soon. Oh my wow, God. that was, that was that cool. Was so great. It made me want to sing Bring Heaven Down too. I know, I do the motions. Oh. Me too. I'm so glad you guys like that. Do you guys play any instruments? I think I know. <laughs> Abby, you play. Yes, I play piano. I can play a little bit of guitar. When I was younger, I played the flute and um, I tried the violin, but I was not very good at it but I really well, love sound violins. <laughs> that's um, awesome. I know Stacy, you play viola, right? Yeah, I started with the clarinet and I was absolutely horrible. It wasn't for me. <laughs> and then uh, I was pretty bad. So then I switched to the viola and I've been playing that ever since. I'm teaching myself guitar, but I know like a little, little bit, like a few chords, but not yes. enough. Yes. You know, the cool thing is, once you like can play one instrument, it kind of becomes easier to play the others if you know the basis of all of that. So man, music is just so fun and so beautiful and such a gift. Thank you guys for all watching that with me today. For sure. That was awesome. Um, so we're kind of switching gears into our prayer time, but I wanted to kind of give you guys a verse to connect that um, lesson that Casey just gave us. So I know last week, Dana talked about how we use worship to like um, praise God in the good times and thank him for the things he's done for us. She was talking about how Miriam played the tambourine when um, the Israelites crossed the Red Sea and God brought them out of Egypt out of bondage. And that was really cool because she used that tambourine. They made a song and she praised God for the good things that he was doing for Israel. Um, but I also want to remind us to use worship to um, get us through the hard times too. And one verse that I wanted to use with you guys is 1 Samuel 16, 23. And what was happening is Saul was, um, he was, he had a lot of anxiety, he had a lot of fear, and he was kind of being, um, tortured is such a hard word, but he kind of was being tortured by a spirit that was um, coming and just really giving him no peace and no rest. And so his um, advisors and everyone said that he should find someone that can play um, the harp over him to calm him down when those things were happening. And so he went and he found David and David would play for Saul whenever he was feeling anxious, whenever he was feeling fearful. So I wanna remind us that we use worship. Oh, I wanted to say this too. Okay, worship is not just songs at church. It's not just songs, period. Worship is our whole life, it's everything. We can worship God no matter what we're doing. So I wanna remind us of that too. But um, as far as music goes, we should be using worship in the good times to praise God and in the hard times to get us through. So I want to remind you girls that um, when you're feeling anxious, when you're feeling fearful, when you're feeling unsure, find songs and sit in them and rest in them. Songs that talk about God's peace and his love and his truth. So that's something I really want you girls to do. Something that I'm doing. Have you guys been doing that a lot with worship songs? Definitely. Uh, Stacy, thank you for reminding us that worship is more than a song. I feel like so yeah. many times you take, we like all take the word worship and we're just like, you have to be worshiping him in music, but you can worship him through like your activities like the sports you do you can worship him through how like how you love people and your family that's so true thank you for reminding us of that oh, for sure it's a good thing um and then also we wanted to go ahead and have some prayer time so send us your request if you haven't already but we do have a few of them in in let me see um Catherine wants us to pray for a six-year-old boy that has cancer and had a leg amputated recently. Oh, that's really hard. We'll definitely pray. Um, Haley has a praise. She said her aunt thought she had COVID-19, but she didn't. That's really great. Um, praise God. Yeah. And then Brooklyn says, 
praying we have a fun day at our grandma's farm. I will pray for that. We need fun days right now, don't we? And Riley said, I would like to pray for our leaders and for God to give them wisdom. I would also like to pray for my dad to be able to come home on the right date. Definitely. Let me see if we have any more. And lots of family members may have COVID-19. Okay, yeah. So we'll definitely pray for that. Abby and Casey, you have any in particular that you want to pray for? I don't think so. I just okay. Just everything. Yeah. yeah, with everything going on. Just to check in, Casey, how's your dad doing? I remember we prayed for him the other day. Oh, uh, thank you for asking. Um He's doing okay. My dad is now working from home. So that's always fun to have a family of six <laughs> in our house. I'm sure a lot of you true girls are experiencing that right now. Um, he, we made my little brother, he's 10. We made his toy room into my dad's office. <laughs> so if you walk in, you'll see my six foot five father sitting at this tiny children's desk with a bunch <laughs> of stuffed animals <laughs> around him him um but he shared with my family a couple nights ago he really has been reaching out to the lord for peace in this season and, and i think of course if we have a righteous heart and we ask god for things um he gives them to us and so my dad really really receives peace from the lord so i think we're all just kind of in shock but there's so much peace when we rely on on Jesus to carry us through this season. So thank you for asking. Yeah, if you want to continue to pray for him, I know he'd really appreciate it. For sure. Abby, are your grandparents doing well? I wanted to check in on yeah, that. Yeah, I texted my grandpa two days ago and he was doing fine. He's staying at home um, and that's good. And then my grandma, um, she's been surrounded by her community. She lives in like a, um, she lives in Florida in this community where lots of retirees go. And so she, all of those people are staying right in that community and no one's getting in. So I'm glad that she's not completely alone. Yeah. Cool, cool. Really cool. Awesome. And then I wanted to give a shout out. Kathy said, I'm going to get my prayer journal so I can write these down. <laughs> so sweet. Oh. Do that. Use your prayer journals. Have you guys been using yours? Yeah. Speaking oh, yeah. of, I think I actually have a verse that I'd love to share with you guys too. Go ahead, please do. Okay. So I think we have this one down. It's first Peter one, six through seven. And it says in this, you rejoice though. Now for a little while, if necessary, you have been grieved by various trials so that the test the genuineness of your more precious than gold that perishes though it is tested by fire may be found to result in praise and glory and honor at the revelation of Jesus Christ. So when I was reading that verse, what it basically meant to me and what the Holy Spirit was kind of showing me through it is we are going to be going through trials and we are going to be going through tests of various kinds, but it's all just to be closer to the Lord. And it's all so that praise, glory, and honor can go to Jesus. And so I found myself asking the question, if I go through this trial and nothing's in it for me, but it's all just to give glory and praise to Jesus, is that still enough for me? Am I at such a good place with Christ where I can say, I'm okay with that. And so I think I've just been kind of striving in this time to be like, Jesus, I will go through these trials just to give you glory and not so that I can even be blessed. You know, I think a lot of times I want to go through things just because I'm like, oh, don't worry. Jesus will bless me in the end, which I think he does bless us. And he promises that in his word. But I want my heart attitude to want to go through these trials so that um, he can be glorified and he can be praised and lifted high. And I also put it in my prayer journal. So girls, great idea. <laughs> That's so awesome. Yeah. So I'm going to go ahead and pray. Um, we got a lot more requests and I am going to hit them all, but let's go ahead and pray right now. Um, God, we just come to you just thanking you. I thank you for just loving us, for caring for us, and for letting us feel your love in such a crazy time. Um, I thank you for your truth that we can stand firmly on, Lord, and for the peace that you give us in that truth. Um, I just want to pray. I first of all, want to thank you for all these girls, for these moms that are joining us in this, Lord. It is so cool that we're connecting. Lord, we're connecting even though we're not together, even though we couldn't do our events, we're still connecting and we're, we're learning about you and your truth and we're just growing in you together. And that's such a beautiful thing. It's a new way that we're doing it, but it's awesome and we love it, Lord. I want to just pray for um, 
Riley, Alexis, I would uh, like to pray that you would just, um, like she said, help our leaders, Lord, give them wisdom and just um, help them to seek you in this time and to make good decisions, the decisions that you would call them to make. Um, I would like to pray for her dad, that he would be able to come home on the right date, Lord, and that you would just reunite them really soon. I pray for Brooklyn, Lord, that she would have a fun day at her grandma's farm. May you just bless that day, help them to have a great connection um, experience and just have fun hanging out and do some cool things that just really take us um, out of this craziness, Lord. I pray that she would just have a really good day. Um, I pray for Catherine. Um, as she has a six-year-old boy that she knows who has cancer and just had to have a leg amputated. I pray that you would just um, just heal him, Lord. Heal him and uh, help him as he starts to uh, recover from this operation that he just had. I pray that you would give him peace in it, Lord. It's a crazy time, something that I can't even imagine going through, but I pray that you would make yourself so known to him right now, Lord, and that he would grow closer to you because of this. Um, I pray for, oh, we thank you, Lord, for a praise for Haley's aunt who thought she had COVID-19, but she doesn't. We just thank you for protecting her, for her body, and for keeping that virus from her. Um, we pray for Amelia's Uncle Carlos. He has the virus. I just pray that you would um, just heal him, help him to come through this, Lord, help his body to fight it off, and just... Um, Keep him whole and healthy, Lord, for his family and help him to seek you in this time, Lord. Um, I want to pray for a doctor um, who lives close to Matarita. Um, I pray for his family as he's treating COVID-19 and his house was hit by a tornado. Um, I just pray that you would just help them, Lord, help them as they go through this crazy time, um, just please give them peace and help them to um, know that you are in control of all. Um, I pray that you would help Gracie who would like to pray for her Nana who has cancer. Um, I pray that you would keep her Nana safe and just keep this virus from her. I pray for Olivia's friend, Ethan and Caden. Their grandma just passed away. I pray that you would give them peace in that time, Lord, and help them to seek you. They may not understand it, but I just pray that they would um, be able to trust that you know and that you care for them. Um, and I just pray for all of the um, all of the families that are being hit by this right now, Lord. I just pray that you would just help us to all seek you, help us to all grow in you, help us to trust you and to know that you have great things for us, even though it seems so crazy. It seems like um, just bad things are happening, but we know that even in the bad, you are there, Lord and that you will reveal yourself and that you will grow us in these hard times. So we just thank you that we can come to you. We thank you that you hear us and we just pray that you would continue to be with us throughout this Lord. In your name we pray, amen. Um, a couple things. If you do not have a prayer journal, go to our YouTube channel and check out that video from Friday when we made them and go ahead and create one because we know everybody didn't catch it, but those videos are there for you to go ahead and make that prayer journal if you don't have one. And I guess we got to go to some announcements now. So guys, do we have some cool things we want to tell them? Yeah, we do. Yes. Always. Okay. So the first thing we want to tell you guys is about our Bible study again. You know, we have that Bible study every Monday night um, and it's with Cheesy and Dana and they're doing great teaching on overcoming lies about beauty and worth. So you definitely want to come out, not come out. I always say come out. We can't come out right now. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, in spirit. <laughs> I know, right? I'm like, come on out. Don't stay in and join that private Zoom room so that you can check out that Bible study each Monday. It's really cool. They do a lot of homework, but good homework that's going to grow you in God and teach you all kinds of things. So you definitely want to do that. And we'll be on there tonight for a little bit. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. We are on there tonight. We're going to give you guys some cool info tonight. So that's another reason to come out because you see yes. our faces again. We yes, want we to see you there. Right, we do. Okay. We have a video that we're going to show at the end of this for that. But what else we got going on, Case? So don't forget to join us Monday at noon live on YouTube. And if you enjoyed these live streams, please let your friends know about them. We want to spread the word and we want to share the fun. Uh, we want to share the Jesus. So tomorrow you'll be with us for health and phys ed class, which, you know, is one of my favorites because 
I'll be there. So <laughs> it's going to be really great. Make sure you wear gym shoes because you don't want to slip around and fall. You want to break a sweat for the best. So. <laughs> Yes, that's a very good point. All right, guys, thank you so much for joining us today. I hope you enjoyed it and I hope you had so much fun. Remember to go wash your hands, practice safe social distancing, and use your musical superpowers that Casey Abby. talked about. Right, Case? Abby, Abby. Yes, use those superpowers. What do we say again? Hey, 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 hey. hey, hey. hey. Oh, wait, okay. but I have to tell them about the video. Oh, oh, go ahead, go ahead. Stacy just talked about this video that they're about to show. They're going to play it right after this. We'll see you tomorrow, girls. Hey, hey, hey. Hey. You get Tuesday. You get Tuesday. <laughs>the emergency room is overwhelmed. The good morning, New York City's Times Square is cleared out. And that Italy acted too late. As the market's reaction to the outbreak causes concern for many of us. It's a virus that's been going around. Why do you have to keep worrying about viruses? There are hopes the spread of the COVID-19 coronavirus in China is slowing. You watch the True Girls TV. Hello, True Girls. Hi. Hey guys, how are you? I'm Cheesy Anderson. I am one of the lead teachers for the True Girl Tour and the co-host of our tween Bible studies. And I'm Dana Gresh, the founder of True Girl. I'm so excited. Welcome to our new spring Bible study, Overcoming Lies About Beauty and Worth. I told my mom and she gave me a verse. Okay, you told your mom about it? That is. Fantastic. That's a really, really good plan when you're feeling afraid talking to your mom. 98% say, I'm totally in. Oh, then. What on earth is happening? There are fish in the sky kind of rainstorm. I think the storm in Luke 8 was a whopper because it says they began to take on water. What started out as a merry version of row, row, row your boat, quickly turned into the theme song of the Titanic. Um, I was thinking that like they were calling the Lord and they thought he didn't care about them because he was sleeping, but actually he knew that they were going to be all right. Don't you just love the, the truth that she shared? I hadn't thought of this when I was studying it, but Jesus didn't sleep because he didn't care. He slept because he knew when he needed to be awake. We've got Skittles and you could be randomly selected to win an entire library of True Girl swag. Huh? Oh no, my mom can't dance. I saw that one, Jesus. <laughs> 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 That's 